Hello everybody, welcome to a, another video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can run your C programs using C Lion and the WSL2 toolchain. Okay, so what is a WSL toolchain? Well in C Lion, whenever you run a program, you need to tell it which toolchain to build the project with and how to run it. And so it's like an environment. And so if you go to file settings, you can see the default environment is something called MinGW, which is bundled with um, with C Lion and it's a default tool chain. Um, and so <clears throat> whenever I hit build project, it's going to basically use the tools in this tool chain to look at this CMake list file and go through that. A CMake file is like a build definition and it's going to build an executable out of it and then it's going to run it. All right, so if I go to build and then rebuild project, all right, you can see this output cleaning and then rebuilding, and it made this uh, swap generic.exe. Uh, and then when I hit run, run swap generic, and it's gonna give you the output. What this program does isn't important, um, but it's just swapping some numbers, integers, floats, strings, and so you know that code here is on line 49, but again, it doesn't matter for this. Okay, so that's well, well and good, but um, I want to run it in my WSL2 environment um, uh, because you know my uh, code eventually will run on a Linux distribution, and it'd be nice to run it on WSL2 because I'll run against the Linux distribution just to see if it works um, as I expect it to. Um, and so there is a tool chain for that. If you go back to File Settings, you can add a tool chain, add WSL. And you can see here the tools, it's going to use Ubuntu 20.4, so it found that distribution on my machine, but it's giving me some errors. You can't find CMake in the WSL2 installation, and you can't find uh, GDB, and there's some other errors. Okay, I can't find you know, basically CMake. All right, so we need to install some things in our WSL2 environment. Okay, so I've got my Windows terminal, and I got my Ubuntu. Uh, prompt here. Okay, cool. And so just to verify it on CMake, if I had CMake, you know, it doesn't find it, but we can install it. But for that, let's just do a, an update. Okay, that's done. And now we got to install uh, the build essential package, and that's going to install uh, some prerequisite tools that we need. As you can see here, real quick, it's installing GCC, Make, G++, G++ is a C++ compiler, GCC is a C compiler, which is what uh, the WSL toolchain needs. It needs a compiler. Okay, so that's good. But it installs Make, not CMake. Yeah. And so let's go ahead and um, install that. Whoops. CMake. All right. All right, that's done. So let's go back to our window here and see what happens now. Okay, it found CMake good, but now it needs GDB. So let's go install that. Uh, so sudo apt install GDB. Okay, go back to our toolchain window, refresh it. It refreshes automatically whenever it looks like when focus returns to this dialog. Okay, so everything's checked. Looks good. Let's just uh, move this up so that it now it's the default. And we click OK. And let's, uh, oh, right, got an error here. CMake error. Oh, CMake 3.23 or higher is required. You're running version 3.16.3. .3. All right. So let's just make sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now we need to upgrade our CMake. All right, so. All right, go to my search and type in CMake, and then CMake.org download. 
and uh, let's just go to version 3.24.3 here and then on the Linux uh, distribution here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that link address, go back to my command prompt, I'm still in my home directory, just do wget. Right now that's there. Now I can go ahead and unpack that. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go to that CMake directory. All right. So now I just have to copy the contents of the bin directory. into the existing location of CMake. So where is CMake? Okay. Cool. So sudo cp -sr bin user bin cmake. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm not a Unix person, so that's actually an executable, so let me go to the bin directory. Okay, sudo cp, cp, uh, cmake user bin. Okay, so now do cmake minus version, and we got version 3.24.3. All right, cool. So let's go back to our toolchain window in CLion. Uh, file settings, and let's see what happens. All right, CMake run finished with errors. All right, let's see what we get here. Uh, modules directory not found in user share CMake 3.24. Okay, let's go fix that problem. All right, I'm gonna open up another Ubuntu command prompt and see what is in that uh, user share folder. Okay, so it looks like we got CMake 3.16, but no CMake 3.24. So what's in this CMake 3.16 folder? Okay, so you got help modules, templates, completions, editors, includes. Okay, uh, so I guess, oh, there's a share folder. And then there's a CMake 324. Let's see what's in there. Okay, so I guess we just have to copy uh, that uh, CMake 324 into user bin share. So I can hopefully do that. Uh, there. Share. Okay, sudo. All right, so now let's see what's in there. Okay, so you make 324. All right, so now let's um, see what happens when you run CMake minus version. Okay, well, let's see what happens now. All right, no errors. Okay, I think I think we're good. So WSL is default. All right, let's click OK. Okay, so now we can go back and do build, rebuild project. And all right, now um, you can see here now the difference. Now it's running in my Ubuntu 20.04 distribution in WSL. All right, the build finished. And then I can do uh, run same way I did before, and see it's running in Ubuntu 20.04, and you get the same output. So great, so I'm reasonably confident that this program will work on an actual Ubuntu server um, in, in when this is deployed uh, for real. So there you go. Um, you just learned how to configure WSL2 toolchain and CLINE. It's a bit of a hassle, especially because of the version requirements for CMake that's imposed upon you by the tool, but um, I do think this is a, a better way to run uh, your C programs just for the fact that you get to run it on an actual Linux distribution. 
um, which is always good. All right, well, thank you for watching. Hope you found it helpful, and until next time, goodbye.